the biggest danger, like I said, is you come back, I need more, and you push, and you force. But he's forcing the issue here One on the Robert Thornton throw. It's left to two darts to after 12 to cross the finishing line and get the better of the twice world seniors champion. That's his fourth bounce out of the contest, and that could be one that costs him the contest. Jimmy O'Connor, 82. He's left himself on 118 for Atkins for the match, 82. One dart, a double top. Get it's all he needs. Jimmy Atkins. Clinical towards the end. Atkins making a push towards the line. A 4-2 victory against Robert Thornton. And the bookmaker's favourite to go on a win group C is up and running. It wasn't a classic contest. At times, both players had to grind out what they got in that game. But Atkins crosses the line. A 4-2 winner. Average of 83 and a half. His doubling was really good. Four from six. And it looked like Tots towards the end of the contest was on a bit of a string. Coming up after the break, it's Martin Thomas against Jeroen Caron. It's Wales up against Belgium. Of his Jerome game has been needing numerous opportunities to see a leg out. But he's been getting them. He's been getting opportunities. And he'll get more if Caron cannot hit the ball. Game shot on the fourth leg. Jerome no Caron. problem whatsoever. Two darts away from a 4-1 win. And for Jeroen Caron, it's a opening match 52. to this group to forget. Martin Thomas won't be pleased with the performance, but he'll be pleased with the point. And he'd be happy enough that he finished off for a 14 darter as well. It wasn't a vintage game, but Martin Thomas gets the better of Jeroen Caron by four legs to one. Shake of the head from the Welshman. Not overly pleased, but he'll take the two points nonetheless. Sean Holly and Kevin Mills follows this short break. Till has come to cost him again. He's free from 18 in terms of his finishing in this game. He's completely outscored his opponent, but he hasn't been able to put him away. Went 25 bull with 75 left. 30. Was Tell able to find four. the green bit. But if Mills can find the red bit, he's in the winner's enclosure. Now to the madhouse. Into the madhouse. And into the winner's enclosure. It wasn't a classic for Kevin Mills, but he'll take the points nonetheless. A 4-1 success to kickstart his day. He gets the better of Sean Holly in his debut match here at the Super Series. This is how the game went from a statistical viewpoint. Mills winning by four legs to one. Coming up after the break, Robert Thornton takes on Martin Thomas. Easier Robert, than 91. Martin 91. But it's the opportunity that he has to open up a 2 0 lead. Triple 14, decided to go triple 80 to leave himself double 10. And he Green finds a double 10. And he Thomas. finds himself 2 0 up. And for Robert Thornton, this is becoming a well, horror like start to the first. day. Game he on. lost 4 2 to Jamie Atkins in the opening match. Another one of those will get Thornton to a finish. 98. So six starts now for 40. Martin Thomas to be on four points. And to become the dominant force in this group C early on. Double 10 has been his friend. And it's the he's double the that wins Martin in the match. Thomas. Three times out of four, he's found that double in legs to win the match. 4-0 to Martin Thomas against Robert Thornton. It moves him on to four points. He has played nine legs today. He's won eight of them. And... He is looking very, very comfortable now on that stage. An average of 88.41. Big improvement from game one. But for Robert Fordson, there are one or two problems for him. A man who's qualified for finals night 11 times out of 13 has already dropped two matches and already has work to do. Coming up after the break, Kevin Mills and Jamie Atkins go toe-to-toe. Extra -to -toe. factors. Well, Atkins has got time on his side to take out his opening leg of the contest. Double 10. 15 data. Atkins the fourth is still Jimmy in Atkins. business, but Kevin Mills has the darts here to see this contest Two through. And the bookies' favourite to win Kevin this Mills. group has been dealt a huge blow. Jamie Atkins defeated Kevin Mills, racking up his second win on the spin and looking in decent nick. A better performance compared to last time out. An average of 86, 50% on the doubles. That was much better than last time out. But for Jamie Atkins, 10 missed darts at a double. And that second leg really did come back to cost him. Coming up after the break, Jeroen Caron and Sean Holly. This to get himself on the board. 
The doubling was delightful. Sean Holly. And for Sean Holly, it is delight in terms of picking up his first win on the Super Series stage. He beat Sharon Caron by four legs to nil. Relief as he crosses the finishing line. He'll feel that he's in business now. That the tail of the tape from our final game from the second round of matches. Coming up on the other side of this short break, we're going to watch the two-time world seniors champion, Robert Thornton, in action. He takes on Kevin Mills. 60, Robert Lacan, 96. Two 18s, now to for nine. 78. Kevin Lacan, 96. And the combination that Robert's just missed is the combination that Kevin wants to hit. He hits the triple first dart, but he finds the double Kevin 18. Mills. And he opens up a 2-0 lead over the twice World Seniors champ. So they Robert to throw first. Game on. So, and so Kevin this for Kevin Mills you. is a third consecutive win to start the day if he finds double 16. Doesn't like the angle. Trying to find a way to open the bed. Getting shot on the match, Kevin Brilliant Mills. Brilliant dart. He saved his best dart for last, Kevin Mills. A third consecutive victory to kickstart the day. And he is very much in the qualification picture for Saturday night. No matter what happens from here on in, six points is going to keep Kevin Mills competitive in terms of qualification come tomorrow. He is building up a stride. He is building up the wins, even if his performances haven't been at its rip roaring best. Mills, a 4-2 winner against Robert Thornton. Coming up after the break, it is Martin Thomas in action. He takes on Sean Holly. Games and his Super League games. Another, and that's a perfect guide for Dart 2. Double eight. Game for a 136 like finish, Thomas. and that may well be the spark for Martin Thomas, acknowledged by Sean Holly. He knew the class of that finish. Sean Holly, he thought the job was done. He didn't expect to see Martin Thomas miss three darts. He will get three more. He may get more than three. 30 He's 30. guaranteed six. Matthew Carr, 20. Well, it's all gone awry in the last leg for Sean Holly. Game but for Martin, Martin Thomas, Thomas, it's a third consecutive win. And the man who's made his return after 11 months away is looking like he's never been away. Three wins and three. And Martin Thomas, in the early stages of this Group C, is looking like the man to be. He consoles Sean Holly, gives him a couple of words of encouragement. That 1-3-6 checkout got him on the board. Holly had, led the, Holly had led the game by two legs to nil. The 1-3-6 put Thomas on the board and then... Reels off another three to get the better of Holly by four legs to three. Coming up after the break is Jamie Atkins and Jeroen Caron. It's the final game from the third round of matches. Now Caron looking at the target that Atkins has just missed. But a failure to take out 36. the tops and tens means Jimmy that Atkins is back for another match winning opportunity. Two tens, seals a 4 0 win Atkins. for Jamie Atkins. He gets the better of Jeroen Caron, and it means that he moves on to four points in the group following three rounds of matches. So that's that game done and dusted. That's game nine of our session completed. It's Mills and Thomas after the break to begin round four. And Thomas. Potential 11 darts are here to take us all the way to a deciding leg. 72 remaining. 24 remaining. For 12 Eight remaining eight. if he gets another Mark go. Car, 116. If he doesn't get another go, he'll be walking off stage. And Martin Thomas will be top of the table. But he's going to get a match dart. Tops for the match. Tots to win it with Ton Topper. Game Beautiful, match, a magnificent Thomas. way to win the match for Martin Thomas. A 116 secures his fourth win of the day, and he is the player to beat. He is the man that they're all gunning down and they're all chasing down. And when he takes on Jamie Atkins in their final games of the day, for Martin Thomas, is to complete the cards. 
He started off slowly, but he's got better as the day go has gone along. A 4-2 win against Kevin Mills. Coming up next, it's Jeroen Caron up against Robert Fort. It's the fourth meeting between this pair so far this week. Robert Caron, 167. 167. To take us all the way. The ball's eye to take us all the way. Oh, and that's brilliant. Wonderful Thornton. from Robert Thornton. A 167 to take us all Senator the way Mike to a last Jones leg decider. Robert Caron, 126. This to complete the job and to complete a comeback quid. He had trailed 3-1 in this contest. But Thornton's going to get a dart of the ball to win it 84. for free. And it would have been Jerome with back-to-back -back plus checkouts. But by virtue, it's giving Caron his match-winning opportunity. Chubb 19. Gives himself a dart of double 18 to see Being it through. Sure it sneaks Caron. into the corner. And Jerome Caron sneaks a win against Robert Thornton. He shakes his head. He knows that today hasn't been his day. The 167 could have been a moment that lit him into life, but he was unable to then take out the 126 in the deciding leg. Caron, with his first win of the day, sealing a 4 3 success against the twice world seniors champ. Coming up after the break, Jamie Atkins looking to keep pace of the top two, Martin Thomas and Kevin Mills. He takes on Sean Holly after this short break. 3-0 up in this game. We're in a leg of winning this game within the space of five minutes. Ball leads double eight. That's great. That's beautiful. Atkins. It's wonderful from Jamie Ack. Stumbling at the finishing line, isn't he? He was three from three. He's now three from 11. 35. Jamie Newcastle, 18. Could be another opportunity. Splits it. Double four. Jamie and times, he was Atkins. irresistible in that contest. And Jamie Atkins, particularly after the first three legs, has laid down a gauntlet-like marker to the rest of the field. In the end, the average only 92. But after three legs, it was sniffing around the ton. He was three for three on his doubles. He eventually got over the line for one. That the tail of the tape from that particular match. One more round of matches to go. And it kicks off with Jeroen Caron up against Kevin Mills. Tops, this would be the spark. That could be the moment. That could be the time where things change. But the last few legs have been golden from the Belgian. An average of 86. After a slow and sluggish start, he's gone through the gears. He has found a purple yeah, he's patch and he's found a win. He's found two wins to end his day. He's moved on to four points overnight and he just puts himself on the outside periphery of qualification. A golden end to the day for Jeroen Caron as he walks down the stage. A 4-2 winner against Kevin Mills who'd won his first three matches of the day. Two defeats back-to-back -back means that he's going to finish third in the table overnight. But for Jamie Atkins, if he can get the better of Martin Thomas, we'll have two players tied on eight points at the top of the table at the end of day one, although a win for the Welshman would ensure he completes the card. To finish the day at the top of the table, may just be a dart of the bull. Even better, double five. 85. But Atkins cannot ascend to the summit overnight. Unless... Getting shot on the fifth leg. Martin, Martin Thomas, Thomas misses, which he's not going to do. He's been loving that tops all day. Martin, you expect we'll start on the ball here. That could be tricky. We won't get to find out. Oh, we do. 70. Jamie Lucar, 60. For this to move on to eight points overnight, it's double top for Jamie Atkins. To Jamie round off a very Atkins. good day of a 14 data and to inflict a first defeat upon Martin Thomas in this Group C. Two of the players who came into proceeding today, the two dominant players today. Jamie Atkins played with the air of confidence and the air of ability that his glistening CV in 2024 said that he should play at 
Why, Sir Martin Thomas, we never quite knew what we were going to get from him. A year away from the live lounge in Portsmouth. But he could be very happy, very satisfied with the four wins that he's picked up. But the performance of the day was led for the final game of the day for Jamie Atkins. An average in the end, just underneath the tonne. Four from seven when it came to the doubles. He's going to be the man to beat going into tomorrow's action. Coming up after the break, the final match of the session. Robert Thornton looking to get his first points on the board up against Sean Holly. And this would be a check out enough to make Sean cry. Tops. Getting Sean the third Beautiful. Leg, Robert Thornton. And once again, when it looked like Robert Thornton was out of a leg, Both he has Sean found a tub plus check out. Not quite the numerical brilliance of the 167. Hit. Straight Getting for the Sean double the 19 Sean and Holly. straight into the double 19. A shake of the head from Sean Holly for these. Beating and the scalp of Robert Thornton will be a prize victory for him. It's a second victory of the day. It puts him into fourth position. It puts him onto four points. Yes, he's got work to do when it comes to Friday's action. But that win and that points total at least gives him a chance. He's only four points off of Martin Thomas and Jamie Atkins. And they've got to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the first round of matches. Well, yes, he's going to need a big day. Yes, things will probably have to go his way. But he's put himself in the picture. As for Robert Thornton, a disaster of an opening day. About a point two in his name going into Friday's action. But the top two are both on eight points. And that is Martin Thomas and Jamie Atkins.